Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to run the original RPCS3 emulator on your Android devices and play PS3 games on mobile in 2025. This is going to be 100% official method and legit as usual because we'll be emulating the original RPCS3 emulator on our Android devices, not using Olympus emulator, but instead using the Game Hub Windows emulator for Android. So let me show you guys right here. I have imported the RPCS3 PS3 emulator for Android inside the Game Hub Windows emulator for Android so let's open game hub you guys will be able to see this emulator has been added I'll be showing you guys the full setup best settings minimum requirements and much more so before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel with that being said let's get started so first of all let me talk about how you can actually run the original RPCS 3 emulator on any Android device first of all you'll need to set up the game hub windows emulator for Android on your mobile devices this is the step one on which I have already made a video which you can check out on the iCard above. Basically Game Hub is a Windows emulator which is capable of emulating games like God of War, Grand Theft Auto 5 etc completely natively on your mobile devices. And as it is a full fledged Windows emulator for Android, we can also emulate some Windows apps or emulators like the RPCS3 emulator. Now let me talk about minimum requirements before you start setting up this emulator. You need at least Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor or above, yup guys I am not joking around you need a really high end android device if you want to emulate ps3 games on android so snapdragon 8 gen 2 or above along with that at least 12 gb of ram those are the minimum requirements and even with these requirements you will face lagging issues and some games may crash but nonetheless it will be a playable experience if you apply the best settings which i'll show you guys in today's video if you also have a low end device you can watch this video and try it out for yourself just for fun Anyways, let's just go ahead and go to menu and open game afterwards. Go to this section of PC games. Here you'll need to tap on the plus button and make sure to import the RPCS3 emulator for Windows on your Android device. So RPCS3 is basically an open source PS3 emulator for PC. Once you add it on your Android device, just go ahead and select the RPCS3 emulator inside Game Hub. Afterwards tap on the confirm button and it will be successfully added inside this emulator. Afterwards you'll simply need to tap on RPCS3, afterwards tap on settings, game settings. And here are the most important settings which you need to follow if you also want to emulate PS3 games on Android in 2025. With that being said, let's get started. In terms of game resolution, make sure to set it to 800 by 600 Even on high-end devices, you can't really use native 720p resolution. In terms of compatibility, go to compatibility layer and choose Y9.5. Afterwards in translation parameters, you'll need to choose the performance translation parameter. This is very important setting. Make sure to choose performance for best performance inside this windows emulator. Afterwards in GPU driver, for Snapdragon, go with Turnip 25.0.0 revision 8. But for today's video, I am using a device which has Snapdragon 8 Elite. It does not really have any Turnip drivers at the moment. So we'll be going with the system graphics driver. Once that has been done, DXVK version, make sure to set it to DXVK 1.10.3 asynchronous, VK D3D should be 2.12, Box64 should be 0.32. Other settings, you don't really need to change much. Now once the RPCS3 emulator has been added and you have applied the best settings, what you gotta do is make sure to also set up the Game Keyboard Plus app on your Android devices. Now there is already a video made by one of my friends, Tricky Guy, about this Game Keyboard app which basically provides you virtual gamepad for RPCS3 emulator. Later. So you'll need to set it up first on your Android device. You can check out his video on Olympus emulators on screen touch controls. Once that has been done, simply open RPCS3 inside Game Hub Windows emulator and let's find out how well does it actually work. So once you open it for the first time, you will get a setup tutorial. You can simply skip it. I have already set it up on my Android device. That's why we don't get any pop up. The first things which you will need to do is tap on the file option at the top left corner. Afterwards, select the import firmware option where you will need to import your PS3 firmware inside the RPCS3 emulator. Now, once this emulator has opened on your Android device, all the setup will be similar to what you do to run RPCS3 on your PC. Basically, import the firmware. Now, importing firmware will take anywhere from from 5 minutes or 10 minutes depending on your device specification. In my case, it took me about 2 minutes and it was successfully imported without any issues. Once that has been done, afterwards go to configuration and then go to CPU. In CPU, you'll need to set the PPU decoder from recompiler to interpreter so that some games do go in game and they actually boot. Afterwards, we'll be going to the GPU section where you'll need to set the resolution as default, doesn't really matter. Shader quality, make sure to turn it from high to low as I have selected.
selected right here afterwards you don't really need to mess with anything else you can simply tap on the apply button and save button provided at the bottom once that has been done we'll just go ahead and go to the gamepad section where this is the most important step you'll need to map all the gamepad controls manually so here in game hub emulator you can't really use the input mapping it's not recognized in rpcs3 emulator so we'll need to tap on the keyboard icon which you see right here and as you guys can see game keyboard plus will successfully start and now you'll simply need to select all the buttons such as start select etc and make sure to map them for example tap on it afterwards tap on the start button and as you guys can see it has been successfully mapped so basically simply map all of your touch controls afterwards make sure to save it now if you are having some resolution issues you can't really see the save button then i recommend you guys to go back exit this emulator and make sure to set the resolution as 1280 by 720p right here in terms of settings and once you set up the gamepad you can go back to 800 by 600 resolution so once everything has been done properly we can now add our ps3 game inside the rpcs3 emulator on android now for today's video i'll be using my ps3 game which i have dumped on my android device to add your own ps3 games you can tap on this option afterwards make sure to select add games or import packages depending on which type of game you have on your android device i have already imported ww2k17 so let's select it and tap on the play button afterwards simply double tap on this game and wait until all the building spu cache is completed and here we go guys as you will be able to see ww2k17 has successfully started and with the on-screen touch controls that we mapped out everything should be working properly and let's find out how much fps do we actually get in this game because i tested out this same game inside the olympus ps3 emulator for android and i got about 5 to 6 fps inside game but now at the top left corner you guys will be able to see i am getting almost 40 to 50 fps which is pretty respectable and amazing in my opinion so just take a look at this ww2k17 is about to start i'll press the x button to skip the cutscene and here we go game has successfully started so let's press the start button and you'll be able to see everything is running very smoothly and for some reason the buttons are being stuck that's why everything is getting chosen automatically as you'll be able to see currently it's just like freaking out for some reason as you'll be able to see but let's just go ahead and calm it down now that i close the controls and reopened it once again the controls are working properly now so let's just go ahead and go with brock lesnar versus roman reigns as before in the olympus emulator video and see how well does this game actually work okay <laughs> i guess i spoke too soon because our rpcs3 emulator just crashed but don't worry we'll restart it and see if it works this time or not and unfortunately guys as you'll be able to see the game has crashed once again for some reason now let's try importing a low end game and see how well does it actually work so i have imported the sonic cd trial right here i'll just go and press the ok button and make sure to run this game inside the rpcs3 emulator now let's see if this 2d game works properly or not and here we go immediately in just a single second ppu models were compiled and everything appears to be booting successfully we'll just go and go back and make sure to enable on screen keyboards there are graphical issues because we set the recompiler as interpreter instead of recompiler you can change that setting if you don't want any graphical issues anyways here we go we'll just go and press start and as you'll be able to see the on-screen touch controls work properly without any issues so let's start a new game and it appears that the game might have crashed once again so this is the current status of rpcs3 emulator running on our android devices as there are no official versions or official ports of this emulator this is the best that we can get so far but i am pretty sure that there are some settings which you can change if you want your games to boot and work properly well that's going to be it for today's video though thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification and let me know which more games should i test out in Inside the RPCS3 emulator in my next videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.